Hello, my name is Nicole Boyd. That's my real name, my government name. Um, I am a local hairstylist located in the Cleveland Shaker Beachwood area. Um, my tutorial is going to be about um, my Brazilian butt lift. Um, I am going to Miami to have a procedure done and I just cannot wait. Um, my appointment is next month, which is July 2016. Um, I was originally going to Atlanta to see Dr. J, but I had to change. Some things had came up in my life, so I switched doctors, and I'm going to go see um, Dr. Sergio Alvarez. Um, he's a celebrity doctor. Um, he has done some work on you know other people this is what i was told um i went on his instagram page though and i didn't see i mean i saw some pictures but it wasn't like enough but i know he's been doing it you know a lot of these doctors they don't put a lot of stuff out there because i know with dr j he has told me in the past that um he don't i guess he don't want other doctors trying to learn his technique and how he does his bbls so that's why he don't put a lot of videos showing you know how it's done but other doctors that i follow on youtube i love the fact that y'all post videos of how you do your procedure because it gives people like me hope and I also understanding of how you're going to achieve my results. Because I need more than just you telling me. I need to see your work. You know, I need to see everything that you do so I can have the confidence that I need to go on and do what I want to do. Um, I've, I'm 36. I have three children. I don't know if I said that already. Um, I been wanting to have a cosmetic surgery done ever since 2001 but as top as technology advanced i've decided that i'm just going to do a bbl why throw all this fat away that's in this stomach and around my back when i can put it in my booty even though i do have a nice you know booty you know i'm gonna show you you know you can see a little something something you can't see it too much because you know i got all of this and you know all this back fat you can't really tell but you know when you see my you know courses that i'm going to show you you know these are different waist training you know things that i use to achieve the results that you know i want this one is fine you know this is like this was the original one that i bought costs a lot of money but you got to take care of your stuff. And um, right now, I did my measurements and my weight. I weigh 178. Um, let me see. Because I have it written down. But I weigh. Now I can't find it. <laughs> It's funny how when you be organized, you have everything set out. And then when it's time <laughs> to, you know, deliver some shit, some stuff always popping off. Oh, here you go. Right here, right here in my face. Well, anyways, I did my measurements last night. And I weigh, like I said, I'm going to repeat myself again. I weigh 178 pounds. I'm like a 38 in the breast area. My waist is a 34 and my hips are 45. <sighs> okay. I already got booty. I done showed you all of that. I'm just, my thing is, I really don't want no big, old, huge, ghetto looking booty. I, I do not want that. That's not, <laughs> that's not what I want. Okay. Um, I like my clothes to fit. And I don't like to be, you know, looking crazy out here because... Like I said, my hips are already at a 45. So once I get this BBL, I'm I'm just really wondering how big my ass is really going to be. Because I really don't want no huge booty. Um, I am naturally a slim person. Um, over time, I've got this big because, you know, you got to have some type of fat for the procedure. 
you know, for you to see any results. So hopefully Dr. Sergio will get it together and he will do a, a marvelous job. But um, I'm just at the last phases, um, which means I'll be getting a call in about a week or two, in about less than 10 days, let's say that. And um, she's going to give me all of the information, the rest of the information, the things I need to do, like my blood work or whatnot. I am excited. Um, I did go through a lot at first with um, Spectrum Aesthetics. I had to literally stalk them. I had to keep calling them because I guess around that time of the year, they are always busy. Um, I hear a lot of people complaining. Somebody went on my real self page and even said something about the deaths. So, I mean, that's sad, you know, if you got doctors out here, don't know what they doing and you taking people's money and you don't know what you're doing. I mean, that's not good. You know, you need to practice first before you start taking people's money, because I don't care if it was eight hundred dollars or five hundred. You know, that's still somebody's hard earned money that they worked for. And, you know. I know sometimes when you come into your career, you have to practice, you have to practice, you know, being a hairstylist, um, being a stylist, period. I have to practice at my craft and what I want to do in order to build your skill and to be better. So, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's nothing wrong with, you know, wanting to do that if you're really serious about your career and what you're trying to do. But my page is going to be about, you know, things that I go through that I'm experiencing in my life. Hopefully this video will be a lot of help to a lot of you girls and um, guys who are considering, you know, cosmetic surgery. Another important thing that I want to talk about too on here is um, what I'm getting is all natural. Let me make this clear. It's natural. Um, Fat grafting and taking fat from unwanted places and putting it in the areas that you want is no different than when somebody gets burned or get a serious injury and they have to graft their skin from certain areas to put it, you know, in another area. It's all the same thing. It's just like, you know, when people have um, something that's wrong with their heart and they got to get a peacemaker or something put in. I mean, people don't bash them, you know, for getting a peacemaker or for getting or for putting having a doctor put in a fake knee. I mean, it's something that's going to help you and that's going to make your life better. And I look at this procedure. It's all natural. I'm doing it with my own body fat. I'm not getting no implants now like i say i'm not talking down on the ones that do get implants like i say it's your body your choice your money but what i'm saying is that it does not hurt to be natural that's all i'm saying you know it's no different than you know reinventing yourself you know changing you know on the outside but make sure you also changing what's in the inside too which is having a positive, better attitude. Stop thinking negatively and stop dwelling on negativity and things that happened in your past. Instead, use them as a builder to build yourself up. So I'm going to just show y'all a few things. I also do nails too. I also do makeup. I'm your stylist. That's what I consider myself. I'm a stylist. That's what I do. <laughs> um, but... This is my stomach and what it looks like right now. And I want this gone. Like, I'm tired of this. I am tired of this. I have not worn a bikini. I have not done... <sighs> I just haven't done anything since I've been a mom. Like, you know, I've, I still travel, do what I do. But I'm saying I don't feel as sexy as I used to feel, you know. And... I'm going to get rid of this. So this is phase one. And I hate people be like, Nicole, ain't nothing wrong with you. Why you want to get this surgery? I know there's nothing wrong with me. You don't have to tell me that. I know that there's nothing wrong with me. But I wasn't born like this. And I'm not going to die like this. Get it? So with that being said, I'm going to have my surgery. I'm going to be in Miami next week. 
and I mean not next week next month I just I just cannot wait like I'm just really excited and then I'm getting married that's another thing like I got things going on I'm I just cannot wait I'm just excited about everything that I'm doing because it has been a long time like years I've been saving up for years okay <laughs> a long long time okay a long time and um I have to make some lifestyle choices you know I have certain things I got to stop doing um it's not much or a lot but you know I just want to be a better person I feel like the older you get the better you should try to come I don't know that's just that's how I think you know everybody don't think like that but I just cannot wait. I'm going to post more videos because, like I said, I want people to really understand and get it. And I also want people to take my story and be like, okay, she did that. You know, maybe there's something I could learn from her, something she might say or, you know, that I could get advice from and that would help me. Because, like I say, it's not a lot of videos you know, where people talking about the Brazilian butt lift. It's 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 really maybe 10 videos. I know Leslie, I forgot her last name, but Malkovich or something like that. I follow her on YouTube. And um, it's some other people that I follow too. But Leslie, I like her videos and her posts. I think she did a good job on telling her story and her journey and what she experienced in the DR. And I'm really like that. You know, that's cool. <laughs> I love it and that's what inspired me to do my own video because just like me following what she did um it's not a lot of videos on BBLs and doctors really don't want to put you know their business out there and how they get these results I'm starting to see Dr. J you know putting more videos out there and other people and that's cool you don't have to show exactly how you do it but I like to watch at least a video for at least about a good like 30 minutes just to you know see how they put the fat in the bud and how they you know work it and craft it and mold it and I like watching all of that because I'm living through their experience you know as I'm seeing them go through this I'm like I'm there I'm not actually there but I'm on my computer looking and I like that like you know it's a lot Dr. Hughes, Dr. Cotese, Dr. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm man Shahid. I, I think that's what his name. I can't pronounce a lot of these names, but y'all know what I'm talking about because y'all follow the same people that I do and, um, subscribe to my YouTube page. Um, it's MB gorgeous. You can also follow me on Instagram, Nicole Boyd or MB gorgeous three thirty, or Nick and I see B. I don't know. It's I got so many different names out there, and I have two Instagram pages and I have two Facebook pages. So believe you me, when you type that in, either one of them are going to pick up. You know. So with that being said, this is just part one. This is just doing a narration of what my journey is, and subscribe and please, please, please don't leave negative comments. You know, on my page. I mean, if you do, that's your choice. I mean, it's not going to affect me one way or another. But look at this. God knows and sees everything you do. He knows your heart. He knows where you're coming from. When you make comments, you make and act the way you act. So keep that in mind. I'm not going to fuss and argue with you about it. I just, you know, hope that, you know, I get a lot of positive feedback from this tutorial and I hope that somebody or somebody's <laughs> will understand you know what I'm going through in my experience until then toodles